welcome to a short introduction to and overview of TT Performance Suite. You have just seen some sample content created with TT Performance Suite. I would like to take the opportunity now to give you some insights about how this is being done and how the software solution can assist you in all of your e-learning endeavors. As you can tell by its name, TT Performance Suite is a full software suite consisting of many different components. For this video though, we will focus just on the aspects relevant for e-learning. But please bear with me for a second. Before I get started in showing you the details of TT Performance Suite, I would like to introduce you to the overall concept of TT Performance Suite in terms of tackling the challenges to corporate knowledge transfer. The workplace nowadays is very challenging, especially when it comes to the knowledge necessary for doing daily tasks at your workplace. Because things are changing at a rapid speed. New products evolve, new directives are there, new software I need to use and learn quite uh, quickly. So all of that is involved when it comes to corporate knowledge transfer in any organization. And when it comes to corporate knowledge transfer, you have to deal with all these aspects you can see here. You need to take your end users on a journey. You have to motivate them. Motivate them to change and adapt their daily procedures. Change management is an aspect. You have to give introductions to new directives or maybe new concepts and processes. You would like to give the end users the opportunity to learn stuff at their own pace with self-study material, where e-learning, of course, uh, is playing a major part. But also, when it comes to working day by day at the workplace itself, you'd like to prepare and provide all the knowledge necessary to do the tasks of the end users or make them possible to do it quickly without any errors and uh, without any problems. So you would like to provide detailed information, step-by-step -step instructions directly at the workplace. So this is the challenging situation we have in the corporate environment nowadays. So on the one hand side, you have those who are responsible for that situation in a sense. They are the project managers, <clears throat> the knowledge carriers and the qualification experts, which can do their part in making it easier for the employees in an organization to adapt to the ever-changing situation. So our self-imposed objective is now to make this happen, to provide the tools necessary to create the content as depicted here, but also making it easy to maintain it and to deliver it to the end users. This only works if you really take the situation as a whole. And be aware that it is not only production which is being involved. So you do not just need a software system which makes it possible for you to create the content. But you have to structure it first. You have to make up your mind about what target group does need which content, what kind of content. You would like to distribute the load of creating this product, this content, uh, through the whole organization. We would like, like to have business experts contribute their part, their knowledge they have, while on the other hand involve uh, the qualification experts and instructional designers too, to sprinkle in their secret sauce on top of it. All with the greater good of later on having end users really effectively use the content. What good is content which is not being used? So it is really of essence that all these different aspects needs to be taken into account. And TT Performance Suite provides a solution for that. In TT Performance Suite, this is accomplished by several components. First and foremost, 
to have a server backend. Very important, of course, to store the content centrally, but also to be able to work collaboratively in a very big project team to distribute the creation load and, of course, to be able to draft your ideas, have a, a place where you can store your training and learning needs analysis. All that is being done centrally on this server backend. Highly integrated to that server backend is the editor. With its single sourcing approach, this editor allows you to first and foremost create highly engaging e-learning with templates, translation mechanisms, multimedia, audio can be added, all of the perks you expect nowadays from a modern editor. But additionally, you can create documentation for, the, for your content as well, or step-by-step -step instructions. Single sourcing is really an approach we focus on with our software uh, TT Performance Suite. And it applies not only to the editor part, but also uh, to the server part, where document management mechanisms really allow you to be able to quickly maintain the content to build up a sustainable approach to the knowledge transfer in your organization. At the end of the whole process, of course, you would like to publish your content. And there are many different ways of accomplishing it with TT Performance Suite. Some of these consist of using a portal which comes with TT Performance Suite, but also you can use regular learning management systems to import the content, you can use mobile devices to access it, but let's focus on the left-hand side. So let's get started. If you allow, I'm taking you with me on a journey. On a journey starting on the server side, giving you a short glimpse of the capabilities there, taking a sample content from there, working on it in the highly integrated editor, while I'm adapting uh, one, or few, uh, one or two things. And then afterwards, I'm showing you the workflow capabilities and the ways of how you can work collaboratively with the system by uploading the content back to ensure high quality of the content which is being distributed to the end users later on through the portal. But as aforementioned, we will just focus on the first two aspects of TT Performance Suite. Now, let us get started with the demo. What you see here now is the client of TT Performance Suite. And as you can see, there is a full screen of different author roles I can select. So let us now select just one of these, namely the author. By clicking on that, you get access to the server environment and as a first step, you can choose now the configuration. Configurations include templates and so forth, which allow project-specific layouts of your content. In this case, we stick to the default value and press OK. Now what you see here is my so-called workspace. It gives me an overview of my inbox, if I got documents assigned to me, or my documents here. So this is one access point, but there are different ones as well. Ways in order for you to structure the content. And that you can see on the left hand side. With the processes section, it is possible to maintain your business processes and assign the documents, e-learnings and content to exactly those processes. Let me drill down the tree here and switch over to one specific process. And you can see now on the right hand side the full breadth of different documents which have been assigned to exactly this process. So for instance, there are now TT documents, knowledge force specific documents, which include e-learning documentation, and it is possible, of course, as well to import third-party documents. We can get a preview by clicking on this preview tab, and that gives us an overview of how later on the content will look like for the end users. There are spe specific needs for end users to know 
what do I have to do in my daily tasks under my role, so this might be a great benefit of the system. But let's switch over to courses. Courses are a way to create curricula for the content you'd like to transfer. Here you have folders which allow you to structure the content. Underneath these folders you see courses and this is one example of those courses. On the right hand side you see the content of each course which consists of several learning objects as we call them and these learning objects are modular entities within TT Performance Suite. This one in specific is the one we would like to refer for, to in the next steps. You can get a preview of that specific content by clicking on this arrow button here. So by clicking on it, you will open up a browser window which shows Media exactly and communication. the e email etiquette. As you can hear, it is with sound uh, and we can navigate through the e-learning. All of that can be customized extensively to your specific project needs. It includes animations, triggers, interactivities. Here in this specific step, something is lacking, which we will revise later on when we're switching over to the editor. But as you can see here, you can include any interactivity as you wish. Again, visual design can be adapted extensively. Now let us switch over to the editing possibilities. Let us edit the document by clicking on the title or opening up this menu list. Here you can switch properties, create variants for different languages, but in this case uh, it suffice to just open it for editing. As soon as I clicked, the document will be downloaded from the server environment and opened directly in my so-called document editor. You can have as many document editors open as you wish. At the same time, you can copy and paste content from one, one editor to the other, just as you would expect from any other application on Windows. As you can see, we were heavily inspired by Microsoft Office with the user interface design. It consists, like an office, of ribbons with tabs and underneath uh, some functionalities. And like in PowerPoint on the left-hand side where you have slides, we in TT Performance Suite have steps. And you can get a preview of these steps with this list and by clicking on each step you get access on the right hand side to the editing window. This window, this canvas, allows me to do real what you see is what you get editing. So it really is straightforward. If you'd like to insert something, switch to the tab insert and choose images, text boxes or whatsoever. In this case we would like to open some templates. It is of course possible to design your own templates. In this case, we would like to add an avatar to this specific step. So this is Anne. We will position Anne somewhere on the screen and there you have it. Of course, you can add more stuff to her. So for instance, you could add an animation. Just by right-clicking on this image or this template, you can assign an animation to her. In this case, we will let her fly in straight from the left hand side. Now another view has opened. It's a timeline view of the different animations on the step. And I can rearrange the animations by simply dragging and dropping the equivalent animation effects. And I can have a preview by Clicking on this button, like in PowerPoint, you can switch between editing and previewing in TT Performance Suite as well. And then you have it. Of course, you can extend the time by changing the duration of the animation. In this case, let us put in 1000 milliseconds to make it even more visible. I can open up this animation list again, or I can even do it uh, directively by grabbing uh, the timeline for this specific animation and extend it even further. See, it takes longer for the animation to take place. As aforementioned, it is 
no hassle whatsoever to include text boxes, images, even other shapes like you would expect from PowerPoint as well, but even more so sound, video files, whatever you got, you can add it to your content. Now, this is regular e-learning, but if you have an IT application you'd like to create e-learning for, it is very easy to create simulations for these IT recordings. And you can do so by selecting here the proper step after which you would like to insert a uh, recording and switch over to the recording tab, click on start recording and choose the application you'd like to record. In this case it is Microsoft Office and I'm doing it quickly here to just record something and as you can notice while I'm doing it on the right top corner you see that a recorder is recording my individual steps as I'm going and all of these sequences will end up in my document. I can do anything on the interface and the recorder is fully capable of recording any application you could imagine. After having finished the recording you end up with each interaction in its proper step on the left hand side. So we can click through the sequence by just tapping on the steps on the left hand side in the step list. Both the objects I have interacted with have been recorded and the screens underneath. And it's fully flexible to do so. But not only that, there are additionally instruction texts for the end user. So I can create interactive simulations. Let's have a preview. I hop over to the preview here, I can do it inline, no problem whatsoever. And now I need to follow the instruction here. So I have to click the to input field. If I'm not doing it, then I get a proper feedback. If I have a second chance and fail, another feedback and after the third wrong attempt I see the object highlighted. And as soon as I'm correctly doing this interaction I switch over to the next step in my step list. So it's very very easy to come up with uh, simulations. Of course you can determine to have them automatically displayed as well in the so-called presentation mode but it's really up to the author to decide. Of course, this approach is very generic, so we can put some steps in between, you can exchange the sequence, it's really up to you what you will end up with. But what if you would really like to introduce more interactivity, more information on top of the simulation? No problem. You can click on this button to highlight each interaction object on the screen. All of these have been recorded. And you can add a trigger effect, for instance, to either, either of these objects uh, and show a template text box, which has been predefined with the corporate CI. Add your information. So in this case, I'm just typing in some text. And let's have a look into how the end user would perceive this. In this case, it's a tooltip trigger, so I just need to touch the object and then I get a visual feedback along with even further information. Or I can add stuff which makes the whole sequence more visually pleasing. In this case, let me use another template um, which is called highlight area and with this template it's possible to just highlight a very specific part of my screen. And in this case, I can even reposition it I can use an animation effect to really make it more visually attractive, in this case a fade-in effect. And again, let's have a preview here. Oh, let's make it longer so it's more apparent to the eye. And there you have it. So it slowly fades out the background. And I can focus on the stuff which is important for me to know. But not only that. TT Performance Suite has been built upon the foundation of single sourcing to take into account that you have different learner types. Sometimes you need e-learning, sometimes documentation, sometimes both. So here you get the synchronized content across all different formats. Let's focus again on pure e-learning functionalities. With 
the so-called smart components, we have the possibility to add even more functionality. Let's give you an example. Here on the step you see, as I'm hovering with a mouse across the different objects, uh, certain animations will be played back and triggers will be opened. We have a complete new programming interface built into TT Performance Suite, which enables our customers to come up with their own functionalities. So they can extend the feature set of the document editor. This is just a nice little example, a visual representation, where, where we call it hover pulse. It's possible to determine a certain image, which will then cause a certain effect to be played back. So let me show you, complete it, reposition this object on the screen, and by switching over to the preview, you see what happens. It's just an example of the smart component. And here you see it has a zoom effect. And multiple, many, many more functionalities are possible with these smart components. Let's look at another example of the e-learning capabilities. In this case, we would like to have Anne, you already know her, speak some text. For this, we would use the connection to a speech engine. TT Performance Suite offers the possibility to connect to speech engine providers, especially cloud-based. In this case, we can determine this text I've already prepared to be spoken by these US English female voice. Of course, I can choose another one, and by just clicking on Create Speaker Text Sound, this sound file is being created. Let's have a look. Hello. My name is Anne, and I will guide you through the subject of email Laddercat. Emails have become an integral part of our daily working life, but they are often the source of misunderstanding, which sometimes leads to fatal consequences. To prevent of course, you can add your own speaker sounds as well, or those of your content providers. That's just an example. Let's now upload this document since we are finished. As you can see here, you can decide on, a, on the basis of a certain workflow what to do now. I would like to forward now this content to my copy editor. In this case, I will pinpoint myself for this. I can add version comments as well to make sure that there is some knowledge transfer uh, in the course of the production. Now the content is being uploaded onto the server with versioning in place, backups are being done, and it will end up in my course. Now let's switch hats. I'm now the copy editor, and let's have a look onto the server with the eyes of the copy editor. You see, less access than the dear colleague of mine, the author. I have only access to my workspace, and since this content has been assigned to me, I have immediate access through my inbox. Now, of course, I would like to have a look. I'm downloading this content and opening it up in my document editor. Now, as you can immediately tell, the user interface looks entirely different. Way less functionalities, because compared to my expert colleague, the author, I just need a possibility to insert text boxes or tasks. Tasks are a way to work more collaboratively more efficiently with other persons in the organization. In this case, I can hand over new tasks to my author colleague who has to change certain aspects. I can determine priorities and due dates and make sure that the quality meets my standards. What's left for me to do is to upload the content now. Clicking on this button brings up this sheet and now I have the possibility to determine whether it should be effectively sent back to the author to revise, or I can as well release it, which I'm doing right now. And as soon as the content has been released, it is available through the end user portal, as you can see here by this indication as the workflow status. And that concludes our short walkthrough of the system. Bear in mind, this is just a glimpse of the possibilities. There are many, many more possibilities in terms of document management, structuring content, and of course, creating high-end e-learning stuff 
documentation, step-by-step -step instructions with TD Performance Suite. I hope you liked it and thanks for your attention.